somebody mentioned to me that he said it um, once before, so this is probably the second time that I heard it. But, um, you know, that's not something that – he's not going to come to me and say, damn, you're the best thing that ever happened in my life. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but I think the fact that he said it publicly, you know, I don't think any man would say anything like that unless they really felt that way. And I think it's um, – you know, people don't say things like that about you unless you're consistent, you know, and you show that you truly support them and you truly care about them, um, whether I'm at a high or a low or whatever, you know, I've shown up and, and been the same same way towards him. You know, when he's struggling, I show up and show love to him. When he's doing great, you know, I I cheer for him and I root for him. And in the summer, I'm, I'm always in touch with him. I'm always checking on him. You know, when he feel like he ain't getting the ball, I tell him, you know, just let me know. I'll drop it in to you, you know, no matter if he's missing, no matter, you know, if he's struggling. You know, I think those are the times that you got to show people you care about him and, you know, and be consistent. Um, and coming from the situation he was in in Denver, you know, where he went from starting, he was the, you know, the, the top pick and then he ends up on the bench. And then, you know, the Joker comes and they, you know, they start rolling with him. And now, you know, he's feeling like the odd man out and you come into a situation where you embraced the way we've embraced him, um, you know, I'm sure he does feel like, you know, that was a, a huge, a huge thing for him in his life. So I think the friendship, you know, the true friendship and then, um, you know, the the belief that I, you know, showed in him from day one.